It's officially time for the fall wish list, or as I like to think of it, is like my mental shopping cart because I don't end up buying all these things. As you guys know, this kind of video premise is more so me just spilling all the things that I really, really like and have been thinking about. And some of those things are just like my dream items that I love to drool over that I just don't actually plan on buying because it's like I can't justify it. But uh, this is like my actual wish list this time and things that I really do like want to buy. So if you like these videos, you can subscribe down below and we're just gonna, we're just diving in. First off is this peplum top. I don't know if it's launched yet, but it's by the brand The Line by K, and I've talked about them before. Um, their pieces are so good. Specifically, I love their shirts. Um, they have like really cool off-the-shoulder shirts, and like they're more of like a staple or a basic in your closet, but I feel like they're elevated. Like everything I see from them is elevated in some way and has something that's different. Um, and this peplum top, I just really, really like the shape of. I'm very into peplums in general. It brings me back to middle school, high school, and that's all I wore were peplum tops. And so I saw this, it caught my eye. I keep getting the ad for it, so I'm waiting for it to launch. I picture it with like distressed baggy jeans and like ballet flats or something, um, even like a baseball hat, I don't know. Something about being able to play with proportions like that with jeans and I like, I need tops that I can wear with jeans and I feel like peplums, that's why I used to love them so much, is because I've always been like a jean girl. Next is a Dobson Matter shirt and I don't know which one. I have like this one or this one in my head and I'm thinking, I like really love the pattern on this and the colors, um, but I also really like this plaid one. I think that it, that is, it's just so pretty and I love the collar on it. And the thing I love about the Thompson Matter ones are the collars are so exaggerated and just so pronounced. For some reason I am leaning towards the plaid just because I love the green plaid specifically. And I think it would go with so many things and like with skirts and oh my God, like that for like the holiday season, I think would be so good to wear with like tights and a skirt um, and like ballet, again, like slingbacks or flats or something. And I also really like the white one because it's more simple and I feel like I could wear it more maybe, but you guys know I've been talking about the J. Crew barn jacket. And they have this heritage jacket, which is kind of like, a, I think it's like a current take on it, but I'm not sure. Um, I really like the structure of them though. And they launched this like plaid one. And I think it is so perfect. I love the details on it. And I don't know, something about it is screaming my name. I feel like it's such a good mixture of like almost like a trench coat with like a rain jacket. Uh, and I guess a trench coat is kind of a rain jacket, but you know what I mean? Like a simple rain jacket and then a trench coat. Those two fused together mixed with their like vintage barn jackets. and. I actually bought a vintage barn jacket from LLB and let me show you. This is the one I found on eBay. It's very cute. I like the color a lot. I don't know, this one just, again, it just caught my eye and something about it, I just keep thinking about it. And they keep posting it on their Instagram, so it's like taunting me every time I see it. I'm like, ooh, that's so good. And I know I'd have that forever, you know what I mean? And they also have like that same heritage jacket, but they have it in this like baby blue color. And that, that color to me right now is such like uh, my Achilles heel, my weakness. I don't know. I just, everything, I, if I, if it comes in that color, that's what I'm choosing normally. And I love the idea of a jacket in that color. I, I've always looked for a trench coat in that color. So I see that and I'm like, that is like what I need. This is a very practical one. And it, again, it's really similar to the last one, but it's just a more toned down version of a jacket and it's a rain jacket. And it's by the brand Stutterheim, Studerheim. I don't know. I love the simplicity of it. And it's something that I feel like I've needed my entire life is just a basic jacket that I can have forever and it just looks like it's really good quality too I haven't heard much about the brand or anything so let me know if you know anything about it but um, I really 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 love this specifically like, cream tan color it's more of a cream and again you guys know I've been talking about wearing that with like girly fun frilly pieces like skirts and lace and things like that and I like I think that one would be perfect for it but again just for functionality purposes when it's raining out I have like a yellow one but I find that one so much harder to style than something like I always do style it because it's not that hard but I like feel like a cream one would be so good and so something like that if I can thrift something similar I'm totally okay with that uh, but this one in particular I do really really like the shape of and like the pockets how long it is and everything like that and so that's on my list and then another more functional one um I have a pair of these already they're my light blue north face like puffer slippers and I I've had them for two years and I've worn the absolute crap out of them uh, especially in the fall and winter they're just like my cozy shoes. I kind of feel like I've reached for them more than my Uggs just because they're easier to put on, which is a big thing. And they're a little bit warmer, to be honest, because they have like this like 
fleece inside of them and while the Aga has like like whatever the Aga has in it I don't know if this is a common experience or not but when you slip your Uggs and you're in a rush and you don't put socks on and then your feet are still cold you're like why are my feet cold in Uggs like that doesn't happen in these so you can kind of just slip them on and I kind of use them a lot to take the dogs out or go on dog walks and things like that and so I want to grab another pair of them I'm thinking in like the cream color and I also got both my sister and my brother on the North Face Puffer shoe train and Jared I think I like talk about them constantly and they're a really good price and again I just really really love them I know I said the peplum top was at the top of my list but I'm a liar because these shoes are probably more so at the top of my list I think about these way too I'm, I'm not even gonna say how often because it's actually embarrassing but I think about them constantly and they're these blue Loeffler Randall <laughs> mesh flats with the little studs on them and I constantly every time I see like picture an outfit I'm like those would go perfect with that outfit I was standing outside today and I <laughs> was thinking about them and I was like it is kind of cooler and I can't picture like I would have to wear a sock or a tight with them in the fall time I feel like because again it was colder this morning so I'm like trying to gauge whether they made make sense and as beautiful as they are and I do think I could wear them I definitely couldn't wear them in winter time but I think for fall spring and summer they would be so good S specifically I'm thinking about them again styled with like I have this baby blue pair of tights with that and then like my rust skirt that I just had in my last haul from Target. I think that would be so cute. I don't know what top, but something like that. And I really, really like them. Next is probably going to be my next sneaker purchase because I actually, I just did buy a sneaker, which I should have probably just like not and bought these. But anyway, they're the Sicily Bonson, Sicily, Sicily Asics. And I think that they are so beautiful. Bridget, who I follow on Instagram, she posted this specific picture of them and I saw them in a completely different light. Like I already loved them, but then I saw this picture and I was like, I need need those like I need those I think they're so beautiful and I think again they're like different they're like a Mary Jane style of a sneaker and I just love them always I'm thinking about those as well I'm like a shoe girl so I could have like a whole list of like my wish list for shoes but um those are probably I think I don't know if I have any other shoes and another one is I just saw this picture again this picture online it's the Chanel tank top and it's in this like sequin material and it has like the little Chanel logo there and I just loved the thought of a sequin tank top but that's like a new thought in my head is like a sequin tank top of some sort but um in the sequin realm I really am still looking for a sequin maxi skirt or a mini skirt I have like a mini skirt that's sequin and I love that I think it's so fun to play around with again I wear it a lot I wore it a lot last year with trench coats and I just for some reason I loved that like mixture uh but this year, I'm looking for a longer version of it so I can wear it more and longer through the season, I think, as well. I saw one on Urban Outfitters, and I'm, like, thinking about that, but I don't know. It's, like, I want to, like, be able to feel it because I don't... Sequins are hard for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm very particular about them. So, like, sequins. I just need sequins and glitter and things like that. Like, the glitter... I was just... I keep looking. Throughout this whole week, I've just been Googling, like, Chanel glitter boots, and I'm just, like... Where is something like I, I just know even if like I let's say I was like oh Jordan let's spend a thousand dollars on these Chanel boots today they're not gonna fit my calves anyway so it's like that's crossed off the table but I'm like what can I get to like fill that void in me and that's kind of where I'm at with the sequins it's like maybe a maxi skirt would do that next is a vintage piece that I'm trying to find I I have like a lot of jeans but I'm looking for like the perfect pair of light wash jeans that are already distressed or I can add in like um knee holes I've just been kind of missing a pair of distress all I went through a phase where I was like no more distress all of my jeans have like no holes in them and so now I'm like I want at least one pair that has like a little bit of distressing on them and so I'm thinking like a light wash that I can like chop some holes into um and in the knee specifically and so I'm thinking like a vintage pair of Levi's light wash something like that so I got to scour eBay but that is also on my list I, I'm a very very big Teddy Fresh fan I have a lot of their pieces I love their quality I love their designs for the most part like I feel like not everything aligns with like my personal style with them but when they hit it with it they hit it for me you know and I just love their pieces and some of those pe those pieces that I do have of theirs I every time I wear them out I get so many compliments I always think it's such a testament to how unique something is um, when someone was like that's like cardigan is so cute and it's just a cardigan but it has like cute little patches on it you know anyway I was on Teddy Fresh the other night and um, or we were watching H3 or something and they were talking about what they were launching in the new collection and I saw these track pants I think they're part of the Trixie Mattel collection which I think that collection is so good um, but I saw these track pants and I really liked them and I love the idea again of wearing them 
with I love my track pants that I have but I feel like a velour pair that are pink and they have like don't touch me on the butt or whatever or something uh, but I think with that with like a, again like trench coats or like coats like this and with ballet flats is kind of like when I'm leaning towards this fall and I love those this is one that I have a lot of you guys to think because I got tagged in their account so many times I didn't I haven't heard anything about them and then I saw them and now I can't stop thinking about them But they're the um, lucky loves bags. They're a small business and they make these beautiful bags That they're like tote bags But then they have like a big bow on them and they're in really fun patterns and colors and I love them So thank you to whoever like did tag me in them because I love them so much um, And that's just something that I think would be so fun for the fall time and they come in these plaids like these really colorful plaids and I think that that would be really cute too. Those and then another thing that is very similar to those, well I wouldn't say very similar, but similar in shape, Room Shop, which is another one of my favorite small businesses. They have, if you're ever looking for like really unique hair bows that are like very big and like crazy, they use a lot of organza fabrics and things like that. I love Room Shop for that, but they have this one bag selection that I really like with a big bow on it and it just looks really, it's nice and sleek because it's like in one color, um, but it's fun with the bow on. Another thing, a vintage varsity jacket. I let one go on Poshmark on accident. Like I should have just bought it when I saw it and it left, but I want one with the hood I've mentioned before. So I'm just going to breeze through that. I just really think something like that, but I want to find the right one. I want to take time, like and find a color that I'll wear a lot, you know, and I want to be able to, I just think it would be so fun to like add your own patches to a varsity jacket, you know, a leather belt bag, like very utility style um, leather belt bag to add onto belts. And within that also, I would really like to find a big belt that I can wear with a ton of things, you know, cause I have a thrifted belt, it's falling apart and that's like kind of where my belt collection ends. So that, a nice belt. Sweaters, I'm always looking for good sweaters. I personally, my favorite, favorite sweaters are from Cezanne um, or H&M, like for when I'm going like for a more affordable one, I love H&M sweaters, but Cezanne sweaters are so, so, so good to me and I have a little collection going. So I wanna continue that this year. Some of the sweaters I have on my list are these. And they're just sitting in my wish list, and I can't decide on which one to start off with. Um, but Cezanne sweaters, just like the quality, so good. I love the fit of them as well, and they just wear really nice. They wash really nicely. I mean, as, as with all Cezanne stuff, but I'll link like my favorite Cezanne sweaters in case you're looking for some. I'll put them below. But I love Cezanne sweaters, so looking for one of those. I also love their cardigans, which again is a sweater still. But um, I want like crew neck sweaters. So you guys know my new glasses. Uh, they're these Gucci big frame glasses. I got them for such a good price. I mentioned it on Instagram. I don't know if I've talked about it on here, but if you are looking for a good pair of like big glasses, um, I, 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 they might still be on sale. I don't know. I'll link them down below, but you guys loved, loved them as much as I did. And I seriously love those glasses. I love how big they are and they just feel nice. Obviously they're Gucci, but like as a newfound like glasses wearer, because I have to, um, I really am looking for just like cute glasses. And so I found these Lueve ones as well that are next on my list. And I think the shape of them is so good. And I wanted like this pair in the Lueve sunglasses, but I'm like, the glasses could be really fun to get them in. And, um, so so these are next to my glasses list. Like I'm thinking about them. I don't know if I want the tortoiseshell frames or the black ones because I already have tortoiseshell. You know, what I mean? that's actually all of my wish list. I ran through that pretty quickly because again, I could talk about all of these things forever. I f I get so inspired at the start of a new season, especially when that season's fall. So um, I just my wheels are turning on what I could add to my hoarder stash. You know. Um, that being said. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for being subscribed if you are. If you're not, you can do that down below like I mentioned. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Let me know also what is on your fall wish list. I love to hear that down below. And uh, yeah, I love you. Bye!